Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with another video. How to put your Zap server online so anyone can access it. For this purpose, I'm going to use a tool that is called Ngrok. So this tool provides you a public URL so that you can share it with anyone. Let me show you how you can download it. From here, you can download the suitable version for your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I will download for Windows. Okay, I have downloaded this zip file, so I need to extract this one. Just open this one, copy it, and you can save it anywhere in, in any location. So I'm going to use C drive for that. I will paste it over here. Just press continue. Okay, now I need to sign up on this uh, on their dashboard so I can get the auth token. I have already signed up so I will just uh, press login button. Okay, after signing you will be redirected to the uh, setup page. From here you can get your auth token. Please copy this token and the command without slash. Now go to your C drive where you have extracted your executable file. Just open that and paste the command here. Press enter. Okay, so now it says the auth token is saved to your configuration file that is here. So now what you can do, you can share your uh, projects with anyone. So this tool uh, could be very beneficial for the developers. So if you want to show your progress to your client or you want to share your project with your friend or it can be very helpful for the Android developer if they want to access their REST APIs from their local host so they can get a public URL from using this application. So for me, uh, let's, uh, let me go to the XAMPP. So many of you might be using a VAMP as well. So you just need to focus on the port that you are using from in my case I'm using 8181 port so most of the users are using the 80 port so you can check your port for your uh, XAMPP or VAMP server for me I will use the 8181 as you can see that uh, ngrok provides you some examples that you how you can forward your port so for this I'm going to type ngrok http and the port that you want to forward for, for my case I'm using 81 81 hit enter okay now you can see that is forwarding my port over this URL right so I can access my XAMPP server over this URL let me check Now you can see that my XAMPP home page is visible now. So now let me access uh, these two projects. Like this project was in this directory. So I will copy the directory from here. Just replace this uh, word. <coughs> Press enter. Now you can see that uh, my this application that was uh, accessible over localhost is now accessible over a public URL. I will put my email to uh, check whether I'm able to log in or not. Okay, you see that I'm able to log in over the public URL. So if you want to share this application with your client, with your boss or with your manager, you can just copy this URL and send to your client. So he will know the update what is going on. So for this, uh, you just don't need any hosting. You can uh, host your project on your local host and just share the URL. Let me check 
another application okay so this application is also accessible by using this tool you can share any uh, application that is uh, running over localhost and uh, uh, using some ports so you can forward uh, the port using this tool it will be accessible over the internet i hope uh, this uh, tool is very useful for you guys and if you never heard about it uh, i think this was a, a great thing that i uh, bring to you thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and hit like button for this video if you face any issue please comment below i will reply thank you bye bye